Hello and welcome back to another video. Do you need glass mouse feet for your mouse? No, you really don't. And let me explain why, because it already is going to be a slightly controversial topic or opinion. And uh, let me explain why. I've heard a lot of people say, and I don't. I've never had glass feet, so this is coming off of speculation from other what other people have said. But I've heard like everyone who's gotten mouse glass mouse feet, basically everyone, say that it takes three weeks for them to break in, and in those three weeks, they're very very fast, and uh, it's like super super fast. And then after the three weeks end, they're basically just. PTFV fee and in the worst case scenario just really really bad for a specific type of mouse pad uh, I've heard a lot of bad things about glass mouse fee that have worn in on control pads because it's just super super slow and it just feels like super sluggish even with lightweight mice so I wouldn't really recommend glass fee I mean they're cool to look at but PTFE fee if you have a good set of PTFE feet like stock or just third party ones are basically infinitely better in my opinion because they're more consistent and they also are fast if you get a fast mouse pad. If you want something that's fast, um, get a lightweight mouse and get like a fast mouse pad. If you really want something that is really, really fast, just get a just a lightweight mouse with good PTFE fee and a fast mouse pad. And that's it. And in most cases, I would really just recommend a control pad, even though I do have a hybrid pad, a, a Razer Strider, which is basically kind of a fast pad in of itself. But still, I would recommend just getting a control pad for FPS games because you have more control over your mouse and it's a lot nicer in terms of high DPI. If you're used to that, it won't feel like you're flying everywhere across the screen like if you have high DPI with a fast mouse pad. And I would also recommend it for low DPI users unless you really, 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 really need a fast mouse pad and you have low DPI. In that case, I would recommend just upping your DPI, not wasting money on a like a on a uh, fast mouse pad if your mouse pad is already good. So, yeah. But yeah, I have a Razer Strider and I got this about a year ago uh, when they were like still popular. And now I realize, yeah, there's a lot more better not a lot more better. There are a lot better mouse pads out there now, but I mean, I still use this and this is still a good mouse pad. I might get a new one soon once my new Fantagoria comes in. Another status update that is actually coming on Monday the 5th. So yeah, they updated it just recently and hopefully it will because it is a holiday, but hopefully they are correct with that. And, uh, you know, I'm going to make my first impressions on that and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. But, yeah, just in conclusion, you really don't need glass mouse feet. You really don't. Like, a lot of people, I think it's just mostly all, mostly hype about why, oh my gosh, they're so good. When I've heard, like, literally everyone who's actually used them and, like, tested them say that I don't really like this because it just really sucks for control pads once they, once they actually wear it. And once, I've heard that they're pretty good, like in the first three weeks and then they just fucking fall apart after the first three weeks and uh, then they just become worse PTFE feet from what I've heard and just even if it is better than PTFE feet they'll probably be slightly better unless you have like super good glass feet that really don't wear in or are actually consistent which is pretty rare and almost I've literally heard that never but if you do have a set that really is consistent then yeah, I'd recommend getting that if you really want one. But again, would it, wouldn't really recommend it. And even then, I don't even know if consistent glass feet out there actually exist that don't wear in in, in uh, like a week or a month or so. So yeah, again, really wouldn't recommend glass feet. Just stick with PTFE fit, fit, fit. <laughs> PTFE feet that are actually good. If you don't have good stock PTFE feet on your mouse, then get a third party one if you really need it because some mouse feet are atrocious and i get that but you can just get replacement ptfe feet from like a third party seller if they do have it if they don't have it then uh-oh <laughs> but most of the time they will have ptfe feet on third party websites and even on the official website they might have just better ptfe feet if you got an older mouse with worse ptfe feet so I know I've said like PTFE feet like 10 million times in this video, but it's just because I think they're better just overall in general. And I know this isn't super controversial yet. It's slightly controversial at the same time, but 
yet again, just don't get glass feet. Just stick with PTFE feet. If you have a good PTFE feet mouse, just stick with it. If you, if you again, if you really want a fast like mouse, just get a lightweight mouse with those good stock PTFE feet and a fast mouse pad. That's all you need. <laughs> And again, I wouldn't really ever recommend it for like FPS games or stuff like that because you want control in your FPS game. You don't want your mouse flinging around everywhere. And you want to like, unless you're doing flick shots, in that case, just move your mouse like really, really far if you really want to do flick shots. But uh, yeah, I would recommend just getting a control pad for FPS games. But anyways, um, yeah, that is it. And I'll see you guys later. I made this video way longer than it should have been because I kept repeating myself like I always do. Anyways, yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Bye.